One of the crucial things we're looking out for is a sign in the data on cases and deaths that this vaccination program is starting to have an impact. And have a look at this. We might have a sign at last. Now, this shows you the case numbers going all the way back to the early phase uh, of the pandemic and then also deaths numbers uh, as well. It gives you more of a sense of where we were in the spring, last spring versus this time around. And one very crude way of looking at this is you could just look uh, at this, at the rate at which deaths are falling this time around compared with last time around, just to give you a sense, back of an envelope sense, uh, of whether we're doing better this time than last time. And here's what you see. So this line here shows you the rate at which deaths fell last time. So that's the first wave and how fast those deaths fell from the peak uh, all the way through to those days. And here's what happened in the second wave. So that's where we are basically at the moment. And you can see more or less in line with the first, the first wave, but it is moving. I think deaths are falling a little bit faster this time around, but there could be all sorts of reasons for that. So ideally, what you want to do is to look at something called case fatality rates and look, break it down by age. And that's what something that uh, researchers at Oxford, at the Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine, have done. What you've got here are case fatality rates. That's essentially percentage chance of a case turning into a death. So the higher, uh, you, the older you are, the higher that goes, all the way up to 90 to 120. You've got a case fatality rate of about 45%, the percentage chance of dying from COVID-19. Now, if the vaccination programme was successful, you would expect these bars here, these are the older people who are more likely to be vaccinated, 80 and over, you'd expect those to fall faster than the other ones. And here's what happened. Look, they have fallen quite a lot. And if I just compress those bars into kind of two segments here, you can see under 80s, the case fatality rate since early January has come down about 8%, so that's pretty good news. But just look at the over 80s, down by 30%, over 30%. That perhaps is the most compelling sign we've got yet that this vaccination programme is working, because these are the people, uh, many of whom have now being vaccinated and we're starting potentially to see those effects. We'll continue to keep you updated on this. There is other good news. It's not often we get to show good news on the screen at the moment, but here's, here's some more good news. This shows you vaccinations, the total cumulative number of vaccinations. That black line shows you the target that the government is aiming for, and you can just about make up. It is above target, so vaccinating more than expected, more than it promised previously. So lots of good news there. Everyone just hoping that that good news continues.